What's happening, y'all? Atkins Fabrication and then some. How y'all doing today? Hey, listen. Uh, just wanted to stop in and say what's up. We're going to do part two of the um, device build, the device rebuild. Sorry. I didn't do it from the beginning. Let me just state that from the beginning. I did find that at a flea market, and I just feel like I can improve on it a little bit. That's all. Uh, it looks like it was an apprentice build. I paid three bucks for the vice. It's an, it's a very nice vice body. Uh, the the middle jaw here need a little bit of work to it. We're flattening that now. The 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 two binding parts, you know, the two mating parts. Um, we're we're uh, I got that going on the diamond stone here, and we're gonna flatten that bad boy. Um, and clean it up on the belt grinder if need be. There's the new camera, y'all. That's the new camera. Got to get used to it, and I'm waiting on the computer. I uh, got an email from the lady. Uh, I believe she's a doctor who I'm getting the new computer from. Uh, she's out of town till Wednesday. No problem. Uh, she asked me if I wanted to get a refund and go through someone else. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. By far, her, 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 her description of her computer and... How she treated it by far was the best on there. So, I had to go with a used computer. I got a Dell. I think it's going to be a little better than an HP. Uh, I I can use it a little better than an HP is what I should say. Um, nah, I, I, I actually think it's better than an HP. It's, I believe it's got a Pentium or something like that in it. It's, it's faster. It's better. So, uh... And my whole sole purpose is to be able to get the laser engraver going and get the video content better. That's my goal this year. That's what we're going to do here at Atkins Fabrication. We're going to do bigger and better things this year. That's what we're working on. Uh, as well as bigger and better things here at the shop. I mean, it, as human beings, man, we're going to work on being bigger and better this year. We're going to do bigger and better things. We're going to help people in better ways than we have. It was a dream last year, this year. We're going to bring it into reality this year. It's going to have substance to it this year. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you very much, man. Uh, I, and participate, please. You know, if there's anything in there that you see that I do that I can fix and get better, please let me know in the description, man, and we'll get it right. That's the whole deal here is to become better at this. Right? Right. That's what I thought. And that's why I was doing it anyway. I'm trying to get better. I'm sick. I'm a sick dude, man. I'm trying to get better, Jack. Like, I'm just trying to be like everybody else. And I don't need nobody to get out of my way. You hear me? I'm going to get out of everybody else's way. I, yo, nobody made me do nothing. I did it on my own. There's people out there that function every day normal. Hey, I don't know how you did it. <laughs> All those years. Hey, man. Sometimes I still don't know how I do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the years that I've done it. Like, I, I don't know how sometimes. But I, I've held it together. God has held me together. And now, honestly, y'all hold me together, you know? God, y'all, y'all are my family, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you very much, man, for, for supporting me and being here. Let's make some content. Let's flatten some, huh? Let's flatten some. Yeah, we ain't going for, like, super duper Tom Lipton flat right now. Like, Mr. L Mr. Tom, he's, he knows how to... He's serious at the flattening game. Let me put it that way. Uh, I meant no disrespect by that, by that, Mr. Tom. He's he's very, I mean, super, super intelligent when it comes to this. I'm not doing the whole three-step flatten method. I'm doing uh, just, you know, till I get all the way across the park, man. I know my, my diamond stone's flat. I know that. I put a roll on it. I put a square on it just to see. Uh, my diamond stone is flat. 
They're hard to unflatten. From what I understand, diamond stones are hard to unflatten anyway. I tell you what, I got this diamond stone as a steel. It goes for probably 50 bucks on Amazon now. When I got it, it had just came out. And I'll tell you what, I paid 15 bucks for this diamond stone. And this diamond stone is just as good as any of the Canadian brand ones. It has not let me down yet. It is still cut the same way it cut the day I got it. Maybe not the day I got it. You know, the day you get it, it's always off. Oh, he's all, he's alive. I thought I had a better ragging in it. <laughs> kind of caught me off guard there. Always, uh, always stay flat. I don't know. Lost that there. But, just stay in motion, man. Like, and make sure you spin your part. That's the most critical part that I can tell you of it. When you're flattening your part, spin it. All right? Because naturally, and then when it gets so dark, when it gets black like that, wipe it off. All right? That's all metal that you've removed. Comes off in very... Microns, it comes off in microns when you're doing it like this, okay? So, uh, you know, throw the Windex on there. I use Windex on my stone, I don't use oil, I use Windex. Then, when I'm done, I WD 40 your part down to, to, to take any water that may have stayed on my part. And then I uh, give it a oil and up. And we're coming across there. We sure are. Look at that. You can see it. You see that? Let's clean it off one time so you can see it a little better than gray spots. Let me see here. Let me get. All right. Let's see if I can do this right while I'm looking at the camera here. See this line here where it comes up there? It'll come across right there. Then there's a line that's right here and comes up right here. See this gray side and this gray side? This is your flattened side right now. All of this. This has to spread all the way out to here. Okay? This is your low. This is your high. You're bringing this down to this level. That's where we're at. When that goes all the way, you got it. Until then, keep on working it, baby. Keep on working it, working it, working it. Hey, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. Work it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Keep working it. Music, I don't know. Put some music on while you're doing it. Some people like music. I, uh... I ain't got a radio in here right now, so. Got my phone, but kind of using my phone for this until I start using the new camera.
you shout out most money, yeah, cigarette money, yeah. Um, try to shout that one again if I can. Getting there, we're getting there. Getting there. Got a new subscriber yesterday. I'm pretty proud of this subscriber. Uh, number 42, man. It's so awesome. He's a firefighter. I, I just, I think that is so awesome. And I thank you for joining. Uh, you know, the, the subscribing to Atkins Fabrication and then some. Um, if there's any, I would, I value any tips that you have, by the way. Thank you very much. Um, safety is definitely one of the goals here. Uh, I don't want to never put myself nor anyone else at jeopardy of getting hurt at anything, you know? So, uh, anything, you know, just anything. I really appreciate it, and it's just a blessing you joining this uh, pillar of the community, y'all. Like a firefighter, that's a man that runs up into a building, a burning building with no interest. You hear me? He don't have no family in there, no property in there, no nothing in there, but he'll run up in there to save someone's life. That's an amazing person. Thank you, man. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for joining, for subscribing. I tell you what, this is one of the most soothing things I can do. I try sometime. I mean. If you've never done this yet, give it a give it a whirl, man. See what you think. I'll tell you what. Between this and sharpening, 
like knives and stuff and chisels and I love it. There's nothing like it. It's like this is the this is the, the beginning of it all, like almost. I mean, think about it. Like before, you, what are you gonna do? You gonna chisel wood with a dull chisel? You uh, uh, you gonna cut something with a dull knife? No, you need to sharpen it. You gotta have a way to sharpen it. Your foundation, not just sharpening, but flattening something. You know, you may not get it totally flat with something with, with certain stones, but it sure will jog you along. It'll get you daggone close. And this here, like I said, it's, I'm not going, this isn't critical, critical, you know, I'm, I'm just, I want it to, uh, I want it, when it goes up against the surface, I want it to be flat up against that surface, you know? I want it to be flat up against that surface, so. A little more on there. Walk it out, uh -huh. You can already put another cup of coffee on coffee with pink. Uh, uh. Start another video coffee with pea on uh the other camera, but uh yeah no. I think we're gonna keep coffee with pea as shorts. Well, the lines are getting over there. The lines are getting over there. And that time is getting up there, huh? All right, let's hold off right there. get back to the flattening uh, we're not quite there yet got a little bit more to go not much just a little but I want to show you something else real quick flip this around oh okay uh there's the vice body and we got it on an angle plate it's a small angle plate but it's the size that I have I don't have a big one I got a small mill machine anyway, so no matter. This is uh, my small angle plate, right angle plate, but it holds it just like a big right angle plate will. So we can drill our whole diameter bigger here and keep it parallel, you know, keep it straight up and down. And because uh, this, if you remember, our front face here is uh, rounded off there. You know what I mean? So what I did was I put it on my surface plate and uh, let it sit flat down on the surface plate. Then I put a bolt all the way through it and tighten that bad boy down to hold it in place. And now what I'll do is I'll drill my hole through and I'll do, a, a, I don't know.
maybe a tooth out interference something like that in the hole to where I can just snug it in there and then it's got uh, four four holes in it that I can drill also if I really want to I really don't want to have to drill them holes I'd rather do it an interference fit but I think I'm gonna have to drill them holes anyway at some point I am because uh it's I mean you're you're tugging on it it's a vice so when you're applying that pressure it's gonna you know you feel me it's gonna want to push out of there so I think the best thing we could do is probably put an interference fit on it but before doing all that mark them holes out tap you know uh, um pin set them drill them tap them press the bushing in there the brass bushing put the screws in it still got a machine to screw down you gotta cut it down machine it down um And then figure out what we're going to do for a handle. Man, we're still flattening this. So. Well, there you go, y'all. That's where we stand at. That's where we stand at. at, 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 at. So, um... That was just a quick video on the flattening of the vice jaw. And then, uh, you know, let's finish this video up on the flattening. Let me just do that real quick. And then part three will be the drill. I'll make sure I have everything ready. That way we can just drill it and tap it and everything. Oh, there you go. That way we could just drill it and tap it and all that and we'll be ready to go. You know what I mean? We ain't got nothing to worry about. But we're going to make this a, a 30 minute video and that's it. And we'll try to get this finished in this 30 minute video window. But if not, by the time we come back to do, to drill the body out, this will be flat. So... We're just going to do a little bit quick video. Well, not quick. 30 minutes ain't quick, is it? <laughs> That's 30 minutes out of your life to watch this video. I hope I gave you some good information on how to do this. And if you notice, I do round it. Right? I go around and around and just keep spinning in different ways. That's all I do. Right? I notice if you go up and down like this constantly, it, it seems like it hide your planes you know what I mean that's what it feels like to me but if you start moving it around it feels like you know it, that, all that stuff gets down into that that's what that honeycomb pattern is it, it it pulls that slurry down into it to where it can make another cut another cut another cut you know what I mean so I go and round it you can hear that cut you hear you can hear that cut do it like this once look Here, <laughs> you can hear. And I still like to hit it up and down every now and then. Okay, and look, if you want to see how far we've come along here, you can see it. It's This is almost to the end down here, and down at this corner, we're close to the end. We still got a little bit more up on this. Like it all uh, rounds over a little bit, but we'll get it down there. Just keep on working it. You'll get it. Trust me. And don't let it rock. 
you know, make sure you're doing it flat when you're doing it. If you got to slow down some, slow down. You're at a critical part now where you don't want to let it rock and roll and all that. You want to make sure that, you know, you're trying to hold even pressure. Even pressure, there you go. Even pressure. See that? I'm getting good. We're getting good. Don't be lazy. Get rid of that slurry when it gets dark like that. And you got metal shavings in that, man. It's going to hold you from... As soon as you start getting dark like that, you should want to change it. Get it dark again. Change it. Get it dark again. Change it. Get it dark again. You know what I mean? Like... We're getting there. I have another video. I'm going to have another video this weekend for breaking this down. That's some scrap that I came across. I'm going to break it down and get it ready for a scrap yard. Any scrap that we get goes towards the shop, man helps out with things in the shop that's what we use our scrap for here yes sir I also smelt some of my scrap so I don't you know scrap everything but what I do scrap and keep the smell I put all to the side <laughs> that one got away from me, huh? Look at that. We're almost there now. But, it's the end of the video. Oh, I guess you'll see next time. All right? Any other way it works, keep them in suspense. So, anyway, y'all, listen, we're back. It's Fabrication and then some. Thank you for tuning in, man. Hope to see you back here again next time.
Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever one, it doesn't matter, whatever, you know, feel free. Um, but I really do appreciate you tuning in and checking us out. And uh, if there's anything that you noticed that I did wrong on there, please, man, put it down in the comment section. We'll get it better. Thank you very much, man. Y'all have a great weekend. See you next week. Atkins Fabrication and some. I'm out.